I'm just trying to figure out a way to turn without ripping this entire jumpsuit. Well, you look fantastic. You look like a superhero <laughs> right now. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing? I'm so good. How are you? Good. Did you know that Lyme disease came from a town in Connecticut? <laughs> I didn't, actually. Um, or chlamydia from Kentucky. <laughs> well, yeah, that... Revelation. <laughs> I think know. everybody knew that. <laughs> By the way, I think my wife, Molly, told you yes. this already, but we went to see... We took our daughter, Jane. Yes. It's only the second movie she's ever seen, the first one with people in it. Really? Yeah, the other one was cartoons. There you go. And she loved it. She sat... She's and you were fantastic as Mary Poppins. It's so strange. I wondered what you thought, because I got a lovely, effusive, loving text from Molly, nothing from you. And I was oh, like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I wanted to save my comments for yes, the air. directly looking in my eyeballs, That's which is right. very hard for British people who are not very good at compliments. We're like... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> do you feel do you feel uncomfortable about that? Because I'm sure everybody's sure. saying it's great. Well, and people do. Uh, they, 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 see, I can't even say it. I can't yeah, even say right. it. They're being very nice about Is it. Is Mary Poppins the most iconic female character in the UK? Would you say? I mean, she's up there, right? She's got to be up there. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about it today, and I couldn't <laughs> think of any others. Uh, I know. Who else? The uh, Queen. The Queen's real, I think. Right. I mean, that's right. You're yeah, right. She's real, yeah. You're and right. your accent seems so real. It almost was like you were from England. I know. It's weird. I'm actually from Chlamydia, Kentucky. So <laughs> I have you all fooled. I'm performing <laughs> at the CMAs. <laughs> The CMAs are over. You missed the whole thing. That's such a shame. That, I don't know why they told me that. <laughs> you moved back to London, your, your yes, home. Yes, we were there for a year. The she whole says. family. You, your husband, John Krasinski? Yes, everyone. Two daughters. Two daughters. The dog. The dog? The dog came. Was yeah. there talk that you would move in with your parents or not? Um, briefly, but then I realized that an entire year would probably be an imposition on them and maybe on me. Uh, I see. So. Yeah. We decided to rent a house, and actually, John was writing Quiet Place while I was shooting this beautiful, magical film. He was in, like, the depths of hell at the top while of the house. you Mary poppins -ing, Yeah. He was writing this terrifying movie. He was just birthing movie. this hideous, you wow. know, frightening movie. So I'd come home from work and be like, I danced with penguins, and he was like, I killed a kid on page four. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah, Mary Poppins can't kill a kid no, uh, no, in the no, movie. No. It would be no. ruined entirely. Yeah, it would be ruined. She just dances with penguins, and that's what she does. That's something else. That's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. And when you were... What were you shooting when you learned you would be Mary Poppins? So I was shooting uh, The Girl on the Train, so... Oh. Nothing says Mary Poppins like a... Like that, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so well, wow. It is interesting, because... I know. It's... You hear some actors have to become the character, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of, you have like a... No, I was playing a blackout drunk at the time. Nothing says Mary Poppins like that, right? <laughs> you would, you, you, you want her taking care of your kids. And do you listen to the soundtrack to try to get in the spirit? Honestly, of... I, I really did, and I found it ever so medicinal. You know that on my days off, I'd go to meet the songwriters, and they'd be crafting these incredible songs, and it was just like a lovely respite from boozing. You do know. you have the, do you listen to these songs like a thousand times before you go in and, and actually do them? Yeah, I mean, they were very much like I, I felt very comfortable with them by the time we did the pre record. I mean, we pre recorded these songs with a hundred piece orchestra. I mean, it was truly one of the most moving experiences. It you were wild. there with the orchestra? Yeah, at you kind of sing it with them so they can hear your tempo, and it, it, was, it was wild. That's I was pretty, like, what's happening? That's, yeah, that's like yeah. a real movie, no kidding around. And it's so around. weird that the CMAs didn't call me. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> so I, was like, I have Guys, a feeling I... next year you'll get the call no, from so. them. You get, so. Maybe get a little banjo. When they find it. out how fake this accent is. Yeah. Yes, when they find out about your fake but very <laughs> realistic accent. <laughs> so you're doing this movie, and you don't, there's no like, you don't go to a nanny school or like adopt two strange children or anything <laughs> like that to prepare for I a role. Not. Like that. You I did, did not. not do that. Do no. you contact Julie Andrews and say, Julie, I got some good news and I have some bad news? Yeah. What's the bad news? She's out. Oh. Yeah. Jules, listen. <laughs> um, uh, she she was, thank God, well aware that she was out of the equation. It was very nice about me taking on the role. Can you imagine if she was like, oh, her? Huh? It yeah. would be f a funny prank. I wish I'd gotten yeah. to her before her before you <laughs> talked to her, really. That would have been your best prank yet. <laughs> your mom, I would imagine, was... Your favorite person. Uh, I love your mother. Why, is, why are you so obsessed with my mother? Because I she's so different from my mother. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are very much the same in certain ways. She really likes you. She reserves this compliment just for people she really likes. She goes, 
Jimmy is such a honey, isn't he? Do you mind if I share a story about her? And she doesn't know this story, but um, no, I you know, know the what story. one it is, and it is so funny it and was horrifying. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. Dish it. Okay, so <laughs> let's just shamelessly one night, embarrass my mother. You made Go. dinner. Yeah. I think this reflects well on your mother. Okay. You made dinner, you made pasta, and it was delicious. <laughs> you made this big bowl of pasta, and you served it out, and yep. your mom, your dad, and my wife and I were there, and the kids and everything. And I'm sitting across <laughs> talking to your mom. And your mom is eating, and she's, you know, very polite, and she yeah. doesn't eat, talk with her mouth full, no, and I'm, no. like, wiping myself no, and everything. No, yeah. And she takes a, um, she takes a uh, fork full of pasta, and I notice that there's a hair, <laughs> one of your hairs, probably. No! Disgusting. Well, it was your hair. Oh. Uh, it was a little Harry Poppins in the uh, <laughs> in the pasta. And your mother, oh my God. without missing a beat, maintained eye contact with me and yes. maintained a conversation with me. And I could just, out of the just peripheral vision, see her wrapping the hair around her finger very neatly. And it's in her mouth. It was in her mouth, and oh. she just kind of just wrapped it down around her finger, no. and then it disappeared. <laughs> and I couldn't wait to tell oh you God. about this. That makes me feel a bit sick, actually. Just the thought of her, like, <laughs> like, pulling it, <laughs> like, pulling it out, it's so yeah, gross. Yeah, but you're her kid. Like, you've probably oh. thrown up in her mouth, you know? I mean, it's got to be... I mean, and be... recently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is your second movie with Rob Marshall. The first yes. was... Into the woods we go, we go. No, that's not, that's not how, how the song it goes. goes. Oh, it isn't. <laughs> this is what he did to me. We went on holiday, and they all talk about trying to do a terrible Cockney accent. You and Justin Theroux were like the worst people. Yeah. And I just, this beautiful film had just come out. I was really thrilled with it. And I'd go on a holiday with these idiots, and they were like, into the woods, hello, hello. And like, <laughs> like make up like the worst. Like, it didn't even make sense. It's not just, good. Like, My English accent is no, not it's good. dreadful. It's really bad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.